Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In our next few videos, we're going to be looking at the opportunity costs, the different types of opportunity costs, and how they are illustrated on the PPC curves. But before we get into the different shapes of the PPC curves, it's important for us to make note of what is the marginal rate of transformation as this affects the shape of the PPC curves and in part the type of opportunity course that is associated with each curve. So what is the marginal rate of transformation? The marginal rate of transformation is the rate at which resources are transferred out of one good to produce one more unit of another good. It is measured as the slope between alternative combinations on the PPC. So you're going to be looking at the gradient along each of the points. That pretty much is what is the MRT, the marginal rate of transformation. And that is what will tell us what the opportunity cost is of producing one more unit of a good. So the first type of opportunity cost you're going to be looking at is one with increasing opportunity costs. So let's get our PPC ready. So in this diagram, we're going to be looking at two goods being produced. The goods we're going to be looking at in this case would be bacon shark and t-shirts. And these are the combinations that we're going to be producing. So I've already started to fill out some of the points and we're going to continue with the rest. So for example, at point A, we can see that we produce zero t-shirts and 300 bacon shark. Notice the zero t-shirts, the 300 for the bacon shark. At point B, we're going to be producing one unit of t-shirts and 280 units of bacon shark. So we're going to plot that in. This will be now point B. Point C, we're going to have two units of t-shirts and 240 units for bacon shark. Bacon shark, by the way, is a specialty sandwich that is made in Trinidad and Tobago. So you could think of it of any, as any type of sandwich that you would like if you want to compare to something more familiar. The other points would be D. Three units for t-shirts, 180 bacon shark. E would be four units t-shirts and 100 units for bacon, bacon shark. And point F would be five units for t-shirts and zero units for bacon shark. So let me just fill this out. This will be 300. Then we have 280, 240, 180, 100, and of course, zero. So I want you all to notice that as we increase the quantity of t-shirts being produced by one unit, look at what is happening in terms of what we have to give up in terms of bacon shark. Notice that the distance or the amount keeps increasing. Look at the small amount we have to give up here compared to when you move from 280 to 240. Then we move from 240 to 180. As we move from 180 to 100 and as we move from 100 to zero. So with each additional unit of t-shirts I'm giving up more and more units of bacon shark and this is called increasing opportunity cost and what is the law of increasing opportunity cost it pretty much states that as you increase the production of one good the opportunity cost to produce that additional good will increase so as I increase the production of t-shirts by one unit, the opportunity cost of producing the next unit of t-shirts increases in terms of bacon shark. And this occurs because my resources are best suited towards making bacon shark. So for example, I might be accustomed to making bacon shark since I'm small, right? Um, making it for many years compared to making t-shirts. 
So, because I'm a custom making bacon shark, compared to t-shirts, you'd find for each extra one um, t-shirt I have to make, I'll have to give up more and more resources making bacon shark because I'm better suited at that. So, we're going to actually work out um, the opportunity cost for all the different points as we move from one point to the next. So, let me get this out of the way. Good. So, as we move from point A to B, we're moving from zero to one unit of t-shirts. We're going to look to see how much bacon shark we're going to have to give up. So, it will be 300. Take away 280. Which will give us 20 bacon shark. Right. I'm writing B and S for short for bacon shark. As we move from point B to point C, we'll be giving up 280, take away 240, which will give us 40 uh, bacon shark. As we move from point C to D, we'll be giving up. 2 240 minus 180 which will give us 60 bacon shark as we move from D to E we'll be giving up 180 take away 100 which will give us 80 bacon shark and as we move from point E to F we'll be giving up 100 take away 0 which will give us 100 bake and shark. So what you need to notice is as we increase the production of t-shirts by one unit, look at what is happening to the opportunity cost. We went from 20 to 40 to 60 to 80 to 100. So it is increasing, right? Hence the increasing opportunity cost. Likewise, if you want to look at it in terms of the marginal rate of transformation, if you were to look at the gradients of each point along the curve, and this is where your C-sec maths would have come into play, if you'll remember how to find the gradient of a curve along a point, right? I wouldn't do all. Remember to do that, you need to hold your ruler tangential to the point. When you do that, you would realize that the gradient or the curve starts to get steeper, meaning the gradient is increasing and hence the increasing opportunity cost. I am Ms. Lushu and I make videos on economics and entrepreneurship. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.